The Kentucky Association of Manufacturers and Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman announced the Chevrolet Corvette as the winner of the first annual 2023 Coolest Thing Made in Kentucky Tournament. This is so much fun. It was designed to allow Kentuckians to choose the 2023 Coolest Thing Made in Kentucky from among the thousands of world-class products that are manufactured right here in our state. The first annual tournament began with a nomination round that yielded 72 qualified products. After five rounds of voting and more than 20,000 votes cast, the Chevrolet Corvette has been named the 2023 coolest thing made in Kentucky. General Motors Bowling Green Assembly Plant has been the exclusive manufacturing home to the Chevrolet Corvette since 1981. Also at the National Corvette Museum, they announced that it's their latest exhibit. It is called the McMichael Family Education Gallery. The 2,500 square foot dedicated education gallery will allow the NCM to provide a state of the art Art, or the state of the art educational experience geared directly to the next generation of Corvette enthusiasts, engineers, designers, and more. President and CEO of the National Corvette Museum, Sharon Bronner, talks about how the gallery covers many areas of education that teachers and parents expect on a field trip or visit. But we actually have school outcomes that these teachers are particularly looking for as our parents. Uh, they want to teach them the STEM, STEAM and STREAM outcomes, science, technology, engineering, art, robotics and mathematics. Learning and fun at the same time. That's the way to do it. And the McMeal fam Mc McMichael Family Education Gallery is open now. And we hope you brought your popcorn because the 29th annual WKU Student Film Festival is now underway. For nearly 30 years, WKU film students have had the opportunity to showcase their work to the community of Bowling Green at their annual end of the year film festival. Some film school professors at WKU say the festival recognizes the talent of the next generation of filmmakers while also celebrating their hard work throughout their college careers. In the last two years that I've been here, I've had the incredible opportunity to meet with a lot of locals and work with people to really get these films off the ground. And without them, they re we really would not exist. It, it's a huge deal for the students because it's such an iconic place in Bowling Green, um, this beautiful historic theater, and then to see their films uh, premiere in that space. The festivities started at the Regal Great Escape Theater last night, but it will run through the weekend. You can find more information on our website and by visiting WKUFilm.com. And Friends of Mammoth Cave, a nonprofit devoted to raising funds for the National Park, has just begun a matching campaign for Mammoth Cave's Environmental Education Department. The nonprofit has $13,000 to match for anybody's in, or anybody interested in donating to help kids pay their way to the park's environmental education programs. It currently costs $6 per student to attend the park's programs, meaning each $3 donation will send one student to the park for the day. The park staff here, the rangers, uh, really customize each day of activities to the objectives of the class that's coming. For over 3,000 students were sent to Mammoth Cave to learn about the environmental education in the last year. And with over $13,000 to match, all of those students could attend for free. Those interested in donating can visit mammothfriends.org. Share your good news with us and you just may see it right here on Midday Live thanks to support from Bath Planet. Submit your stories, photos and videos at WBKO.com slash good news.